I got some dirty shit to pick up at the drop clean. I got a tidy bitch to pick up, I got love Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two seater. I never demanded him to hire anybody. And what he has told you is an absolute lie. In my 13 years as mayor and my recent re-election, I have never had anybody talk to me in that manner. The man was ranting and raving. I never said, I didn't even get a chance to say the kid's name. I said, I'm really sorry I called you. But for him to say that I demanded that he hire so-and-so, and I'll tell you his name, but I won't, is an absolute lie because I never even got a chance to finish the first sentence. And I had, and I was so shook up that I called, I think I called you, and told him I have never been spoken to by anybody in my career as mayor as that man spoke to me. And so I just, and then the next night at the commission meeting, the chief said, the sheriff wants you to call him. I said, I'm sorry, but I'll never talk to that man again. And that was the end of the conversation. I did not ask him to hire anybody. I never even got the chance to finish the damn sentence, and I really object to this. So it's not surprising we have our first big campaign controversy. In a primary featuring several challengers in the Broward Sheriff's race, opponents accused the incumbent top cop of misusing on-duty BSO personnel for his own political advantage. Investigator Bob Norman jumps on the campaign trail in a story you'll see only on Local 10. Any in the Senate who is sensitive to what that really means? At a political forum at the Kings Point condos for senior citizens Wednesday afternoon, local candidates okay. vie for votes. Any other questions? Not there is Broward Sheriff Scott Israel, Thank you. who's in the midst of a campaign himself. But he seems well represented nonetheless. By the door is a contingent of his underlings, including Captain Ira Goldberg, Tamarack Chief Neil Glassman, and BSO employee Patty, Patty Lynn. All there at the political event on the taxpayer's dime. It's improper because they're taking resources from the citizens. Taxpayers give the sheriff's office $750 million to run this agency to provide public safety. It's a waste of resources. Two of the sheriff's Democratic opponents, Willie Jones and Jim Fondo, both say it's unethical and possibly worse. I think it borders on illegal. It's an honor for me to speak on behalf of Sheriff Scott Israel. Here's Israel's executive officer, Russell DePerna, giving a campaign speech for Israel, wearing his BSO star. Obviously, Scott Israel can't be everywhere, so he sends his people to fill in for him. Lynn, meanwhile, is a fixture at campaign events, passing out BSO flyers, some with prominent photos of Israel. She's in her BSO uniform. Patty, how are you? I don't believe she, she should be here at all. So you're at all these political events working for the sheriff. Um, I'm working for the sheriff in doing the duties that I'm assigned to do. You're not working political work here? No, sir. Captain Goldberg has been spotted at other political forums as well. I am a recipient of 13 Democrat of the Year awards. Here he is in full uniform at a Kings Point political event in October, videotaping the sheriff's campaign speech. Hey, Bob. I caught up with Goldberg outside last week's event. Yeah. Uh, do you have a law enforcement reason to be in there? Give PIO a call. They'll be more than happy to answer Ira, any questions. It looks like, as a captain, you're doing political work for the sheriff while you're on duty. Call PIO, Bob. You're not going to answer that? Have a great day, Bob. Thank you. Goldberg was also a fixture in Israel's 2012 campaign when he was just a jail guard. After his election, Israel Leapfrog promoted Goldberg all the way to captain. Israel refused to be interviewed, and BSO Media Relations said that Lynn goes to the meetings as part of, quote, community outreach, and command staff like Goldberg goes in case there's a question from the crowd. I want to depoliticize BSO. Prior to winning office in 2012, Israel promised to take politics out of policing. We're here at the Lowe's Home Improvement Center on Federal He accused then-Sheriff Al Lamberti of, quote, shameless promotion for holding document shredding events that included his face on the side of privately owned trucks. But when Israel took office, he simply had his own face put on shredding trucks and continued the practice. I will not be spending money 
on bagels with the sheriff. Israel also railed at Lamberti for using BSO resources at his so-called coffees with the sheriff. For shameful self-promotions. But now Israel is doing the same thing at Area McDonald's, only with free ice cream instead of coffee. The department has become 100% more political since Scott Israel's come in. I got some dirty shit to pick up at the drop team. I got a tiny bitch to pick up, I got less Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in the two-seater.